So this is something I've been putting off talking about for a while, but it's something that I think is really important to talk about. When I was at school, I had no self-confidence. I always doubted myself. And I think this is why I didn't excel academically and also in sport. I kind of just faded into the background a little bit at school. So I decided at the age of 16 to leave school and not do my A-levels. I went to work on a big yard to follow my dream because I'd been told that this is the only way. And so I thought I'd go for it. So I went there and I think I thought, yeah, this is gonna be it. I'm gonna start to excel. My confidence is gonna grow and things are gonna change for me. And the first few months it was better and I was excited and things were great, but unfortunately that negativity started to creep in again. And I got back into my negative mindset thinking I wasn't good enough. And it really did come out in my riding, my work and everything. And I especially think that horses pick up on this. So I think I felt it more there. So I knew it was a problem, but I didn't think that I could change it. I thought, this is how I am. I'm gonna be stuck like this forever. And I just carried on in that mindset. So then I decided I was gonna move home and start my own yard there. And I thought, again, this is gonna be it. This is gonna change. And I had a few people tell me where I was working before, you know, don't do it. You'll just be a flash in the pan young rider. You won't make anything out of yourself. You can't do it without us. And again, I think that built the negativity up even more, but something was telling me to go home and just pursue it there. So I got home and again, the same thing happened. I felt great and I was excited. I had an incredible trainer who was one of the top riders in the world. And I thought, this is it. This is, this is gonna be the big, the big thing that changes everything around for me. I had her help. I had my parents' support. What could go wrong? And again, after a few months, it all started to kick in. The negativity, I kept doubting myself. I kept telling myself I wasn't good enough and I was kind of my own worst enemy and I felt like I was in this prison in my head and I couldn't escape it. So I think by this point I knew that it was such a big issue that this was always going to stop me being successful and I wanted to be but I don't think I ever thought I could get past the mindset. So in around 2016, I think it was about June, July, I was competing for the regionals and the mindset thing was getting worse and worse and worse. It's always been there but it was getting worse. And I remember going to a show and I just couldn't stop crying in the warm-up and I just couldn't get in the arena. Um, and I just felt awful and I remember thinking, this is it, I can't compete, I can't do what I love. So we stopped, my, me and my mum decided I was gonna stop, not go in the arena, and I was gonna have a break from competing. And I think it took me about an hour of saying we were gonna stop to realise like that's the worst thing. Me not competing was actually what was the worst thing, not the small little mistakes that I've been building up and having a meltdown about so it was kind of like my epiphany I realized that the worst thing for me was not competing not the small little things going wrong so looking at it now yeah at the time it felt like this big breakdown but really that was my breakthrough so from that I started to look into mindset every single day I was like right I need to change my mindset and I read something that if you want to improve in any area you have to study it so that's what I started to do I studied mindset whenever I can I read loads of articles I watched vlogs I you know listened to entrepreneurs about how they did it I listened to sports people and then I started to change things and I can happily say from a year it was a year ago that I started to do this I've made such a big difference to myself I made such a big difference to my life my relationships have changed I'm closer with my family I'm closer with my horses I'm happier so the moral of this story really is that if you feel that you're in this dark negative place and you feel like there's no way of turning it around. There really is, because I thought I was that negative person. I thought there was no way I could change my mindset, but it is possible.